Hey guys, welcome to round number four. This is Laura. I'm one of the judges for the tournament. Sitting in for Kim for now. Um, and we have got Alex Hill playing Kevin Baxter. Looks like Alex is playing with his Jolteon EX deck. I don't know, I, I think Kevin's playing one of those Eveltal decks with uh, some Zoroarks and Galades. I'm not totally sure. Looks like Kevin started with a Shaman, not something that you really ever want to see happen. It's not the worst thing in the world, but he's definitely more, uh, a little bit better when he's able to actually get that ability off. Looks like Kevin's starting with a Battle Compressor. He's going to try to get that, uh, that Gallade going if he can. I don't think we've seen any Gallades actually, uh, go off yet today, so hopefully we'll get to see one in action with any luck. Got an Ultra Ball. Kevin already getting rid of some Zorark pieces to get Lil Zora out. Haven't seen what's what else is in his hand? See if he'll be able to get that uh, that maxi. All right, trainer's mail. Hopefully, with any luck, takes a m muscle band. Should be able to play that, and I think I saw a DCE in his hand. Not sure what the other card is, though. He is definitely going to want to try to get Shaman out of there. Um, that Jolteon being, uh, being weak to Jolteon definitely does not help. Oh, there we go. Versus Seeker for Maxis, and we finally get to see our friend Gallade. It looks like Kevin's using the ability. Pretty useful for, uh, you know, trying to get yourself out of sticky situations. Make sure that you're able to pull the cards that you want to play next. And we do see the evil tall down, so yeah, it looks like we do have a another evil tall Zoroark deck. Floatstone down on the Gallade and just a muscle band on Evil Tall and passes over to Alex. Not too sure what Alex has got going on in his deck yet, but looks like we'll see a Jirachi down. <laughs> and AZ to pick it right back up and put him right back down. Okay. Not sure what card Kevin's thinking about. He's been kind of hiding his hand a little bit. Looks like we've got an energy on Shaman. Target Whistle to get that Regirock that was discarded back onto the bench. And Sycamore to get a new hand.
Okay, we got a lot of stuff going on on Kevin's turn here. Uh, trainer's mail looks like he failed it. He did battle compressor earlier, got rid of battle compressor, evil tall, and I wasn't, didn't quite see what the third card was. It's like Kevin's just trying to pick what order he wants his cards in to get himself up for, get himself set up for the rest of the game here. Passes back over to Alex. Looks like we're probably going to see a battle compressor, I would think. Double colorless down on Reggie Rock. There we go. Looks like Alex has got Vespa Queen going on. So we'll probably see him discard a couple of Pokemon here. Try to get as much damage going with Vespa Queen later as he can. Like Kevin's getting that stand in Zorark out with his Ultra Ball. He got rid of a Hex Maniac. Um, probably pretty good. He uh, Alex got rid of quite a few Oddish last turn. Probably isn't really at any risk of having any abilities played anytime soon. See Dredigan go down on the bench just in case he's ever going to need to get one of those revenge knockouts in. And Zorark's going to stand in. We'll Lysander up Jirachi there and KO it. And it looks like Alex is already scooping the first game. They're going to go on to game two with Kevin up one to zero.
All right, guys. I am back here. We're going to say thank you so much to Laura for taking over that game one. We see Alex is going to choose to go first as the non-winner of the game one. He's going to start off with an Ultra Ball. He's going to discard an AZ and a Jirachi EX. He's going to do a quick deck search. He wants to see what he's got prized. He's going to choose to take that Combi. We see Kevin starting with a Zerua and a Drudigen on the bench. That was a very quick game one. They have good chances to go through two games. We see a trainer's mail. Alex also did play a Shaman EX on the bench. He's contemplating whether he wants to put the unknown Q down. He's looking to possibly Ultra Ball it away. He's going to shuffle um, after the Trainer's Mail. Because he's considering actually just drawing with the Unknown Q. Just see what he's going to get off of that farewell letter. He got a shame in the X. And it wasn't necessarily what he was looking for. It looked like he was a little bit unhappy about that. <coughs> he's looking at, he also has a Bundle Bee in his hand. And a Buddy Buddy Rescue. So he's contemplating what he wants to discard with that Ultra Ball. He also does have a Sycamore in his hand. It was unfortunate for him. His game one was not looking like it was going so well. He's going to go ahead and Buddy Buddy Rescue to get back that unknown. We see he's going to go ahead and Ultra Ball. And get another unknown. He's going to go ahead and shovel up here. We know that he does have a Sycamore still in his hand. It looks like he has the one card left in his hand to be the Sycamore. I feel like he's going to, if he has just the one card, he's just going to go ahead. Oh, he does have the Shaman still in his hand. So he's going to go ahead and actually set up for five. We see Alex go ahead and play down that. Force of Giant Plants. Looks like he has another Ultra Ball. He's going to Ultra Ball away a Combi and another Ultra Ball. So Alex is definitely hitting it off this turn, this game on his first turn a lot better than he did on the first game of the round. He's shuffling up here. going to go ahead and play a combi. He's going to also go ahead and evolve right into that Vile Plume and Sycamore for a 7. So he is at a really good spot here. He's got both Fast Quinn. He's going to attach, manually attach the Fighting Energy. He's going to get that free retreat. He's going to set up that other Vespi Quinn and he's going to go ahead and pass his turn. Kevin has yet to even play a card and he is already trainer locked. We see Alex is going to go ahead and put, he's got five Pokemon in that discard pile. Kevin's going to go ahead and attach a DCE and go ahead and Giovanni for one. He's going to pass his turn. Wow. That is not looking good for Kevin. He had other options in his hand, but he just he went the Giovanni route. He wants to see what's going to go happen in here. Probably, actually, most of his cards and his trainers in his hand were non-supporters. They were trainer item cards that he was not able to play. So We see Alex is going to go ahead and use the Vespiquin's first attack. 10 damage and draw until he has 6 cards in his hand. So Kevin's going to just go ahead and Sycamore all those items away. He's going to get a Evil Soul. He's got a Dark Energy in his hand. He's got to play that Dark Energy. Contemplating what he wants to play it on. He's going to choose to go ahead and attach it to the bench. So look at this. Shaman set up for two. He is in a real tough spot. Kevin is going to have a very hard time to be getting this Glade out this turn. Unless he can 
Lysander that vile plume up and knock it out. He is not playing items this game. Alright, we see. <laughs> Kevin's gonna go ahead and evolve that Zoro into a Zorark here. And he's gonna go ahead and pass his turn. See Alex going in and getting another Vespiquin. This is actually exactly how Alex's deck is supposed to run. He's gonna go ahead and hit him for. He's gonna go ahead and be revenge. For the 70, putting him at 80 damage. We see Kevin going ahead and playing a judge. Both players are going to shuffle their hands into their deck. Draw four. Kevin looks like he's got he got an energy at least. He got a Fright Night Evil Tall, but it is not looking good for him. He's gonna be able to take prizes. It's just gonna be a very slow amount of prizes. Well, Alex has got a bunch of basic energy on the board, which means he still has all his double colorlesses. Uh, I'm pretty sure he plays double colorless. I haven't seen one this game so far, but Alex is going to go ahead and be revenge for the not the knockout there. Taking the first prize of the match. Kevin's contemplating what he wants to send up. Kevin has to get a DCE here, and he might have it in his hand. He's going to go ahead and Lysander up the uh, file plume and pass and since Kevin has the Fright Knight evil tall that floatstone is not doing anything so there <laughs> we just seen multiple draw passes really quick there I mean we went through four turns in four seconds <clears throat> both players are just waiting for energy we see Alex is just going to go ahead and Sycamore away all his cards. He's double checking on how many Pokemon he has in there. He's sorting them out for us. He didn't adjust the count, but did get a DCE. Vileplume, however, has a three retreat cost. That is one big Vileplume. Even if Alex, he would have to manually attach a basic energy. Otherwise, if he chooses to attach that DCE, Kevin could easily Zerosic that. He's still going to go for that chance. Kevin has that Zerosic. That's, uh, he doesn't have it, but Kevin does have the ability to Hex Maniac this turn to be able to play the item cards. The only issue is, is that if Kevin Hex Maniacs, he will also get rid of his Fright Knight, which would make the tool come back into effect. So Alex will be able to retreat that out. Kevin does also have the ability to possibly stall out Alex with that Vile Bloom in the active position. So this is going to be a very interesting turn of events. We also see Alex has nine Pokemon in his discard pile. So he's going to be doing 110 damage with B-Revenge. So he's going to go ahead and draw a card. He drew the DCE. And Kevin, you can instantly see he slumps down as he knows that that is active. However, <coughs> Alex did not get the knockout with that B Revenge. And Kevin, I believe, had a full art Lysander in his hand. So he might be looking to, there it is, he is bringing that right back out. And he's saying, fight me 1v1. 
Alex has went through two DCE. And he's gone. We've seen so far, at least we have the three basic energy on the board. So he could, he does have the third DCE to attach. Kevin is just looking to slowly buy himself some time. Alex is going to go ahead and pass. Oh, this is insane. Alex has four cards left. If he doesn't have another energy, he didn't draw it again. Oh, and he's going to just... He's going to scoop it. Wonder why he chose to scoop there. He did have an AZ, though. He showed that he had the AZ, but... Uh, he had a huge handful of cards. I feel like it, the AZ might have been the last card, though, is what it might have been. It looked like the way he flipped it, it was like the last card. But we see the upset. Kevin Baxter is going to take that second game. And... Oh, there, looks <laughs> oh, there we go. They were looking for their match slip. We had it in here. Uh, he must, Alex must have just not had a way to, he must not play a judge or anything like that. And so even if he did have VS Seekers left, he couldn't take those prizes. So we see Kevin Baxter pulling off of the double Lysander Friday Night Evil Tall onto that Vile Plume for the game and the match. We're going to be back with game number five round five as soon as this match is over we've got about 26 and a half minutes a couple minutes for a round setup so we will be back and we will see you guys then